Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nafadila binti Tasmi and I am SEL student. So today I am going to demonstrate the experiment one which is projectile motion experiment. And this experiment are going to show us about connection between range and height of number. Okay, let's start the experiment. So here we have measuring tape to measure the range and also we have another tools to measure range, height and also the time. We also have the button to adjust the velocity which is initial speed and also we have the cannonball launcher and we can adjust the angle by moving it up and down. And also we have the cannon button to launch and also we have the menu which is you can choose this the object to be projected and now we are going to choose cannonball and its mass is 7.63 kilogram okay and we are going to choose 15 meter per second velocity at, at 70 degree angle oh, okay so now we are ready to launch Okay, and we are going to take the measuring tape to measure the range. So we put it here and pull it until here. Okay. Okay, so we got 14.79 meters. Okay, to check the range or the height, we can take these tools and put it here. Okay, the range here we got 14.74 meter and the height is the height is 10.13 meter. Okay. Alright. So So in this experiment, we can see that uh, there are two important facts, which is first, the distance the ball travels in X direction is directly proportional to the time flight, which is due to the fact that there is no force acting upon the cannonball in that direction. Second is the distance the cannonball that travel in the Y direction is proportional to the square of the time of flight with the proportional, proportionality constant equal to one half and gravitational action. I think that's all from me now. Thank you.